Today we are celebrating the Earth. Earth is the planet that we live on. It is our home. And it's our responsibility to help keep the Earth healthy and happy. And how do we do that? Mm. Well, today I am going to share with you a few things that you can do right now to help take care of our planet Earth. The first thing we can do to help take care of our planet Earth is... Recycle! Mm -hmm. We can recycle materials like paper, plastic, glass, cardboard, tin cans, and aluminum cans. Mm -hmm. Instead of throwing all of these things in the trash after you are done with them, you can put them in the recycling bin. These materials are then taken to the recycling center where they will be made into something new. Recycling helps reduce the amount of trash that is on our earth. Mm -hmm. Recycling bins sometimes have this symbol on the front of them, and depending on where you live, they are usually blue. Meta, let's recycle all of these materials right now. Mm. Paper. Plastic, mm -hmm. glass, a tin can, cardboard, mm. and an aluminum can. We did it, Veta! Mm -hmm. The second thing we can do to help our Earth is use items that can be used again and again, mm. like reusable water bottles, food containers, mm -hmm. rags, and reusable grocery bags like this one. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Now, like recycling, reusing things helps reduce the amount of trash that is on our earth. Mm -hmm. The third thing we can do is turn off the lights when we leave a room. This helps save energy. The fourth thing that we can do to help keep the Earth happy is turn off the water while we brush our teeth. This helps save water. And the fifth thing that we can do to help our planet is to pick up trash that is on the ground and then throw it in a trash can. Like this. <gasps> Meta has a question. Mm -hmm. Why should we pick up trash that is on the ground and throw it in the trash can? Meta, that is a very good question. <gasps> That's Miss Y calling right now. Hi, Miss Y. Hi, B. Do you and Meta have a question for me? Well, yes, we do. Why should we pick up the trash that is on the ground and throw it in a trash can? Oh, that is a great question. Funny enough, I have the perfect experiment to show Meta what can happen when we do not clean up our earth. I'm so excited I get to see Meta today. I gotta go so I can get everything set up. Bye. Bye, Miss Y. Meta, looks like you were going on a field trip today to visit Miss Y at the Curiosity Lab. Miss mm -hmm. <gasps> Y is a scientist who does research and is really good at answering the question, why? Meta. Miss Y said she has an experiment that answers your question about why we should pick up trash and throw it in the trash can. <gasps> okay, Meta, here is your backpack. Okay, Meta, you are all ready to go. I hope you have a wonderful time visiting Miss Y at the Curiosity Lab. 
Meta, it is so great to see you today. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone, my name is Miss Y and I work here at the Curiosity Lab. Over there is my assistant, Bolty the Robot. Meta, I heard that Bolty visited you and B in the forest recently for some sight word fun. Mm -hmm. So the question Meta asked is why should we pick up trash that is on the ground and throw it in a trash can? Mm -hmm. The answer is trash on the ground is super messy. It can hurt the land and make its way into our lakes, rivers, and oceans. And when this happens, it can stay there, floating in the water for a very long time. Mm. Bolty, please show us a video of what trash looks like floating in our lakes and oceans. We don't want yucky trash like that floating in our lakes and oceans, and neither do the animals that live there. Thank you, Bolty. Meta, let's play a game called How Long Till It's Gone. And in order to do this, we have to go outside to see if we can find any trash on the ground. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. We did it. Meta and I collected several pieces of trash mm -hmm. we found on the ground and put them in our trash bag. We also set up this very big tank full of water. This tank full of water is going to be our pretend ocean today. Right now, our ocean is very clean. If I was a fish, I would love to live here. Mm. Mm. Here's how to play mm. How Long Till It's Gone. I'm going to show you something from my trash bag, and then you are going to guess if it were to find its way into our ocean, how long it would take for that thing to decompose. Do you know what decompose means? Mm. It's when something breaks down from big pieces into very tiny pieces. Things like fruits and vegetables can decompose quickly and easily, but other things can take a very long time to break down and can hurt our environment. Let me show you. Meta, are you ready to play? Mm -hmm. Okay. The first item we found outside on the ground is a banana peel. How long do you think it takes a banana peel to decompose in our ocean? It takes two to five weeks for the banana peel to decompose or break down into tiny, tiny pieces. Two to five weeks just floating in the ocean. Mm. Next, we have a milk carton. How long do you think it takes a milk carton to decompose in our ocean? Mm. It takes about three months for the milk carton to decompose. Three months. Mm. Okay, Meta. next. We have a plastic bag. How long do you think it takes a plastic bag to decompose in our ocean? It takes about 10 to 20 years for a plastic bag to decompose. That is a very long time. There are plastic bags floating in the ocean that are older than you are, Meta. Mm. Next up, a tin can. Tin is a kind of metal. How long do you think it takes a tin can to decompose in our ocean? It can take almost 50 years for the tin can to decompose. Wow, 50 years? That's older than I am, Meta. Ooh. Now, this is an aluminum can. Aluminum is another type of metal. We usually drink cold drinks out of these kind of cans. So, how long do you think it takes an aluminum can to decompose in our ocean? Mm. Right here. Meta, it can take almost 200 years for an aluminum can to decompose and go away. Wow, 200 years just floating around in the ocean. What about a plastic bottle? Hmm. This one ooh, is very dirty. It must have been laying around outside for a while. How long do you think it takes a plastic bottle to decompose in our ocean? Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. It takes almost 450 years for a bottle like this to go away. 450 years. That is so long. Meta, mm -hmm. the last thing we have is a glass bottle. How long do you think it takes a glass bottle to decompose in our ocean? Mm. Whew. Well, it takes almost one million years for a glass bottle to decompose and go away. One million years. Now that is a very, very, very long time. Mm. Oh, and look at our ocean. It's full of trash and has become really dirty. If I was a fish, a turtle, or a dolphin, I would not want to live in that. It would be dangerous and yucky swimming around and through all that garbage. It is our responsibility to help keep the land, lakes, and oceans clean. <laughs> Meta, I don't know if you noticed, everything floating in here, except for the banana peel, could have been recycled and made into something completely new instead of ending up in our ocean. Meta, thank you for playing How Long Till It's Gone. <laughs> Now before you go, I have a sixth way we can help take care of our planet. And that is to help plant trees. But why plant a tree, you might be thinking. Mm. Well, we need trees in order to breathe. Mm. You see, trees are kind of like the lungs of the earth. They breathe in a gas in the air called CO2 or carbon dioxide, and trees breathe out oxygen. And guess what? Mm. Human beings do the opposite. We breathe out CO2 and breathe in oxygen. It's kind of like we're really good friends with the trees. We both need each other in order to be healthy and happy. Mm. Meta, I want to give you this young tree called a sapling for you to take back to the forest and plant with B. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Here, I will put the tree in your backpack. Mm. Thank you all for visiting the Curiosity Lab today. And remember, Miss Y is here. Ask away. Did you have a good time with Miss Y? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Learning why we should keep our planet clean? Mm -hmm. Yes. <gasps> and Meta, she gave you a tree. What a very thoughtful mm -hmm. gift. Before we plant this tree, do you know what time it is? It's time to dance. Mm -hmm. This is where we stop what we are doing Stand up and dance. You can do whatever dance move you feel like doing. <gasps> Mate, before we do that, let's take off your backpack. All right. <gasps> do you hear that? <laughs> it's the idea train. <laughs> oh, and look, it's Pinky the Boom Box. Hi, Pinky the Boom Box. Okay. Thank you, idea train. <laughs> All righty. All right. We will put Pinky the Boombox right here. Pinky plays our music. I will take this gold cassette tape and put it in here. And I'll close it up. And I'll push the button with the triangle on it. The play button. Are you ready to dance to celebrate the Earth? <laughs> yes. OK, I'm going to push the play button. Now. That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. 
Meta and I are getting ready to go plant this tree. But before we go, let's say five good things about ourselves. Do you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, I'll go first, and then you repeat what I say after me. Number one, I am strong. Number two, I am helpful. Number three, I am smart. Number four, I am brave. Number five, I am kind. Oh, that was great. Mm -hmm. Grown-ups, remember to follow us so you know when we post a new video. Please support our channel by subscribing here on YouTube. It's the best way to let us know you are enjoying our content. Subscribing also helps others discover our show. Go ahead, push the subscribe button. Mm. Meta and I will wait. We will do a little dance while you push the subscribe button. I hope that you learned some simple things that you can do to take care of our planet. Mm -hmm. Now, Meta and I are going to go plant this tree mm. in the forest. Thank you for spending your time with Meta and myself. And until next time, bye! Mm. bye.